I'm dying to put it on her. She need to wake the fuck up. Other than that, like, and then and then people, like, we just take clips of my life. Oh, she said this. She said that. She's such a horrible person. Why am I? Oh, why? Why am I the horrible person? Why y'all think that I'm flipping out for no fucking reason? You think I just want to get on social media and flip out this for no fucking reason? I've been having a great week. And then it's just like, you see, she's so disgusting. So why I, I'm disgusting because I, I'm upset of niggas trying to play me. Bro, don't, I really felt like it's, like, it's, it's, it's more of what they say. It's just like the fact that like, I niggas really keep keying in my face and everything then you're gonna ask me about my motherhood just so you can make me look like a trash ass mom that got me so hot the fuck and then and then and then i seen somebody like oh cardi need to cardi need to stop uh putting all this media against her this and that she cannot fight every battle bro these niggas these niggas is not doing anything to, to me that that anything that that I need. I have fifty fucking millions of fucking followers, so it's like they're not doing nothing beneficial to them. If anything, I'm doing something beneficial for them. I'm fucking getting time on my day talking to you just so you could fucking play on what you want to fucking do. Get out of here. Like what's wrong is wrong. But anyways, that's annoying. Oh, yo, my stomach is still hurting. I really need to take a laxative. I'm gonna take a laxative after I come. Yes, they really try to play me. I don't. I don't care how people f- flip it or see it. I really feel like niggas really try to play me. Like, oh, see why Cardi's calling uh, coach is calling somebody else mommy. Like, yo, I don't. <sighs> that shit got me so hot. That shit got me so fucking hot. I be so fucking high, and maybe, maybe and I don't care. If people call me that I, I'm psycho because I get mad. Yes, I am psycho. I am not the one to be fucking fuck with. Things I really don't like blowing on me. To be honest with you, I really fucking don't. But my team thought that I've been doing too much fucking black bobs and everything, and it just. Went with my outfit. Have you ever snapped on officer like that before? I'd be scared. Hell yeah. You... Oh, I'd be snapping. Oh, that's not even nothing. Shit. It's like, that was not even nothing. Uh, oh. Just no excuses. All right, so um, yep. Uh, I'm going to the Dominican Republic later. After the Dominican Republic, I gotta do three shows that I miss. Then I'm celebrating my birthday. Then I'm recording. Recording, recording. Then I gotta go to London to film something for a couple of days. And I'm taking my kid. And then I'm just gonna be recording. I got nothing to do. I think I gotta do my last show in Vegas for Halloween. I don't know what should I dress up as. What should I dress up at? Hmm. Who should I be? What should I be for Halloween? What should I dress culture for Halloween? It's very interesting. I don't know. What should I be? Maybe frozen. That would be.
be so cute frozen like a sexy frozen hmm. I don't know maybe Moana maybe I should just name my daughter as Moana that would be so cute but it, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to the club to go to the club with a Moana outfit it's just like people wouldn't freaking get it so what should I dress myself as hmm What should I be, guys? I already did Corella. What should I be? Let me see if y'all got some good suggestions. Dress as the nanny. Yeah, but not to go to the club. Like, you got to remember, I'm, host, I'm doing my last residency in Vegas that day. So, what should I be? Hmm. Oh, my gosh. When I went to the Halloween parade a couple of years ago, I saw somebody dressed as a tampon. Maybe I should be a pad. Oh my gosh, I should be a pad. Yes, a pad, a bloody pad. I said the singer Selena. I love me some Selena, but I just feel like there's gonna be so many people that are gonna have that outfit. Pat is so creative and it represents feminism. A pat it is, I think. Catwoman. I'll say this night in the damn lie. Oh, my stomach hurt. What's wrong with me? You motherfuckers be lying. Lying than a motherfucker. Oh. What should I be for Halloween? Maybe I should just be a fucking witch. Oh, Faith is there. Hi, I thought it was lying. Oh, hi, husband. I miss your ass, motherfuckers. Matter of fact, let me get you on. Let me see if I get you on the live. I'm about to get you on the live. Hi, baby. What's up, baby? I've been, stalking, doing? I've been stalking you the last 10, 15 minutes. I'm alive. Yeah, because I know you wasn't aware and everything because I know you had like a little headache yesterday so you were sleeping and all. But babe, I went crazy yesterday. I know that you have seen it. I've been very shy. I have, you know, I haven't brought it up to you because I know you're going to curse me out. But this, so babe, <laughs> I know you're going to curse me out. But babe, look, I got I won't mad. curse you out because nigga, they violent. You can't. I ain't going to stop you on that part about my daughter. We ain't playing like KK. For sure. But that's what I'm saying, though. I went mad. That's what I'm that. saying. And you know why I got on live and started spazzing? Because I called Ashley, right? I called Ashley. And it took Ashley like almost 30 minutes to get on the phone with them. So I started to feel like they started ignoring me. So I'm like, all right. Now I'm going to go and violate them niggas on live. That's why I started violating. Because it's like, yo, come on now. Like, I didn't even win. I didn't even went to do press about nothing else but fucking rhythm and rhythm and flow. So if you talk to me about juggling mommy lifestyle and everything, and then you're going to try to play it like my it daughter or call somebody else. Mom, that shit got me so fucking high. And then you yeah, ask. It was the setup. setup, right? And that's why yeah, I and felt the nigga who said mad. It probably, most of these niggas, bro, the nigga who said it, most of these niggas don't even take that at kids. They say us. Nigga. Yeah, you gonna why the hell you gonna say it to a mama anyway? Why would you even play like that ain't even nothing to play with? It's, it's like our daughter. Crap. That's what I'm saying. And now everybody is just saying like, Oh, you always going off, you always this and that and it's just like, bro, 
there was once this powerful ass woman that had a whole fucking show canceled for playing with their kid, for talking about their kid. I don't understand why people think that the kids be jokes. Back in the day, let me tell you something. When people used to violate me, I used to be like, all right, I'm going to go for the people that hurt you the most. I'm violating everybody. Now, I don't even play that way because I just understand. Like, fuck it. If you're going to violate me, just violate me. But just that kiss shit is like, then you smiling that's, in my that's... face, though. You don't say, you don't ever say that about nobody. Period. Yeah. I don't even play that way. You ain't even about to play with that. All right, that's why I ain't call you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying nothing to you about it, because you a mama. You got the right. My mama ain't playing about me. And that's you why they deleted that. that shit, because it's like, bro, they know they dead wrong. Somebody need to apologize, man. Nigga playing with my daughter, like, that shit lame. Like, you don't even get no points even doing no shit like that. Yeah. She innocent. She don't blame nobody. And then... Man, I think my mama ain't playing. You had the right. That's why I ain't call you. I ain't gonna call you about no shit like that. Shit. Kind of your business. What you doing? Huh? I forgot that I, I forgot that I even had them cars. Shit is sad. I gotta go to Atlanta and take a and take and take a breath of fucking fresh air. Huh? I can't hear you because because I know you don't have service outside. Go in the house. Yes, but you know you're the service be fucked up in the house. You keep freezing. Yeah. I hate that fucking service out there, bro. Now you're really frozen. It's like you got them on FaceTime on a microwave. It's like your phone on a microwave. Babe? Where you at? What part are you at? Barely. It's all chopped and shit like you fucking fucking on live from a, a Microsoft desktop. Oh, shit. Barely. Yeah. This shit just got off. All right, guys, I'm getting off. I'm about to wake my daughter up, but I don't, I don't like waking her up because when she, when you wake her up, like without her waking up naturally, it's like you, I gotta let her sleep until she could sleep because she's gonna want to go to sleep again, and throughout the whole time she's gonna be cranky. So I'm, gonna, my daughter could sleep till like two o'clock though. It's one thing about her ass. But that's why I be hating though, because then I'm gonna have to start the day mad late, and, and you don't want a cranky culture. Fuck my hair is so bad. I just washed my hair two days ago. Can I ask you a question? 
Hey, YK Osiris. Hey, nice K. I am juicy. Oh, I fuck with her. She's bad. I like her. Um. Um. Damn, I forgot the fucking question. Fuck. Fuck. All right, motherfuckers, I'm out of here. Let me see something. All right. No, nobody interesting. Mm. Oh, my stomach hurts. He's all I live in. He's all I live in to my every day. I already, already know what he wants. He just wanna have fun with me. Want to have fun with me. So why you so addicted to my? You so addicted to my every. Thing. I already, already know what he wants. He just want to have fun with <laughs> Oh! You got me fucked up. Come on, y'all. Hey. Thanks for the show. I was just listening to Rocky Shop at the, at, uh, at the airport. Just listening to you and vibes. That's so crazy. Oh, my God. All right, y'all. Goodbye.